It's another deadly weekend on Oakland streets tonight. How a community is stepping up to steer young people away from violence. People of Oakland address the city's soaring homicide rate with two uplifting events tonight. I'll have a live report. Now, complete Bay Area news coverage. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Channel 2. The ongoing violence and rising death toll in Oakland has long caused concern among police, politicians, and most importantly, among those who live in neighborhoods overrun with criminal activity. Tonight, some young people who have first-hand experience with crime gathered to show they're not going to repeat their mistakes, while others tried to fight the violence with comedy. KTV's Diane Garazzi is in Oakland with a live report. Diane? Ken, if homicides in Oakland continue at their current rate by New Year's, they will smash a 13-year record. Upsetting as that is, two separate events tonight tried to turn the tide. First, four teenagers graduated from an internship program called On the Bricks, an effort to put youngsters who've been in jail or juvenile hall back on the right path. I just got out of jail. This mentorship has like changed my life into a better path. Better than the assault or weapons charges that put 18-year-old Demars Jones behind bars, his new path, thanks to the program, is working in a video store. It helped me get a job, find positive things to do with my time, and just everything goes forward from now instead of going backwards into back to a jail cell. On the Bricks is funded solely by private donations. It not only helps former offenders find jobs, but helps them complete parole and probation. We will keep learning and journey for y'all to go And when we do get it, it's hard to act on it. Trust the crew and the crew if you can't talk back on it. Immersed in a hip-hop culture, youngsters earn a stipend of $50 each week for six weeks while undergoing counseling and taking field trips. A lot of them don't never been out, out, of, out of their neighborhoods, you know. They haven't even been to Marin or Sausalito or Redwood Park. So we just teach them that it's their neighborhood, is, that the world is bigger than just their block. The program is the brand new brainchild of Tony Coleman, himself a former convict. Well, I was in prison for a number of things, and the thing is, is that I was going in and out, in and out, and prison never helped. He started on the bricks two months ago after 10 years of community-based work with the Quakers. But as he was helping others, his own daughter ran away and was arrested for strong-arm robbery and assault. The 15-year-old also graduated tonight. It's not that I don't have an unstable home or nothing, it was just that I was just falling into the wrong people, you know. 